Hey guys, it's the Bubble. So I'm I'm an OU today. That's my second Wi-Fi battle. Uh, the team I made today is basically I just I just did I just put together a team of the Pokemon that, at least to me or for me, do the most work in OU. Um, like you know Gyarados, the obligatory Caesar, Gengar, and really fast Jolteon, Conkeldur, and then of course Terrakion. So this Gyarados. Um, you might not expect a Gyarados on a on a team like this, but what it what it does is it sets up a substitute, and then it'll use Dragon Dance, and that combined with Moxie um, is actually really it's it's excellent for for if I just want to get in a quick sweep or or a late game sweep or something like that. Um, the trouble is that Ferrothorn really can effectively stall out this Gyarados, so. Um, it's because it can it can take attacks from Gyarados because its uh, its two attacking moves are Waterfall and Stone Edge, and it can break my substitutes with um, with a Power Whip. So and then that combined with the Sandstorm, which takes out my leftovers, um, it's really not a good combination for Gyarados. This Ferrothorn that with Iron Barbs can stall me out, and then I use Power Whip. So I switch out and I go into Julius Caesar. Um, so here he is. Caesar is a lot better. Um, is a lot better equipped to deal with Ferrothorn, um, be, just because it's it's move set and the fact that it's completely resistant to Power Whip. Um, so I'm gonna need, I'm gonna set up a Sword Stance on this Ferrothorn. He's gonna use Leech Seed. Kind of annoying, but then again, it is a Caesar. So um, what I mean, Caesar's main hope is to set to be able to set up his Sword Stance to such an extent that it can one hit KO anything with Bullet Punch. Um, but yeah, I used I used um, a bug bite on that turn. I really honestly should have probably used a um, a sword stance there, not only to get the permanent boost with sword stance, but also um, to avoid the to avoid the iron barbs damage um, at all. And so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get hit by leech seed. Um, so yeah, no. Uh, normally leech seed doesn't really bother Caesar. Um, because what's the, uh, you know once Caesar gets up enough sword stances it can win a KO most of the metagame with uh, with a bullet punch and if you if your opponent is knocked out you don't actually receive leech seed damage but um, this Ferrothorn has managed to stall me out quite effectively with protect um, but yeah I'll I'll be able to get in another bug bite and this Ferrothorn will faint, which is also very convenient because his team is still, it, it makes it a lot easier for me to set up with my Gyarados, even if my Caesar faints. Um, so I'm going to hit this Gliscor with a bullet punch. Gliscor is really ridiculously high defenses, which gets really annoying. That coupled with his substitute protect stall combo, the Leech Seed on the Caesar, and then the Toxic Orb, uh, the Toxic Orb with Toxic Heal, HP HP restore on that Gliscor. It's just it's it's a really frustrating Pokemon to deal with. Um, so yeah, my Caesar really isn't doing so doing so good on that HP. Um, so yeah, Bullet Punch is gonna he's he's just he can just protect stall me and he's just gonna keep gaining HP. At this point, I just want Caesar. I just I kind of want Caesar out of there um, so that he can stop gaining HP off my Leech Seed and just not get another Poison Heal um, heal. Mm, but it's annoying because my Caesar now has five HP, so that, that was kind of a kind of a fail on the HP raising EVs there. Um, so finally, my Caesar will go down, but not before this Gliscor is able to get back another entire eighth of its HP just with Poison Heal. Um, but now I can send in the ultimate troll for Gliscor, which is Gengar. Gengar is really, really great. I love this Gengar. It uses um, it uses substitute, and then it can hit the guy, hit the opponent with disable. Because the thing about Gengar is there are a lot of Pokemon that only have one move that can actually hit a Gengar that has a substitute up. And when I disable that move, they have to switch out, which is really funny. Um, yeah, this Gengar, this Gengar generally causes a lot of rage. It has Focus Blast, which is perfect for this Tyranitar, except for like, yeah, it does, it does hit. It wasn't a, wasn't a Focus Miss, as is all too common. But this, this Tyranitar is. Tyranitars these days have ridiculous special defense. It's definitely, definitely the just the whole nine yards of special defense. Um, but he can hit me with a crunch, and 
this, this situation is actually really uncomfortable for Gengar. I don't know, because I don't really know what he's going to do as far as just hitting me again, because he might see he might see the disable coming, so the disable could disable um, the crunch, and then he could use another move, like Stone Edge. And then if I try to use Focus Blast again, it could miss. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up another substitute, um, just just to be able to see what he does and use his Stealth Rock. That's good, because, I mean, my team, my team isn't really... My team doesn't really... I mean, it doesn't like Stealth Rock, of course, with the Gyarados hitting Caesar and Jolteon for, uh, for neutral damage. But it really isn't that bad in terms of uh, him actually letting me get up a substitute. So Focus Blast becomes Focus Miss, of course. Um, but he can, yeah, he can now hit me with a Crunch. So it's really good that I got that substitute up because I might have just missed twice with Focus Blast, and that would be really bad because then he'd have this Tyranitar, and I would be short my Gengar. Um, this Sandstorm is getting really annoying for my team because a lot of my Pokemon have leftovers and Sandstorm just completely takes out my leftovers. So at this point, I really do have to hit with Focus Blast. Turns out there's justice in the world. 70% accuracy pulls through. And down goes his Gengar, or his Tyranitar, sorry. Um, yeah, he's not going to survive that. I don't care how much special defense he's got. It's double super effective from Gengar. Um... So, yeah, his his Tyranitar is going to go down, and there I am back at the exact same HP. Yeah, so he's he's going to send in his Latios. Um, this Latios, Latios can be a whole host of things. This one almost certainly has a Choice Scarf, because Gengar has really high speed, and Latios without a Choice Scarf cannot outspeed Gengar. So my Gengar is going to faint. I'm going to send in my Gyarados, because now he's, because of his Choice Scarf, he has to keep using Surf over and over again. Surf isn't very effective against Gyarados. Of course, the Stealth Rock will do 25% damage to Gyarados. Quite frustrating. Um, but his Surf... Um, I, I just just eyeballing that move. It doesn't look like it can do more than twenty five percent HP. So I'm going to set up a substitute. Um, that'll allow me get to get a Dragon Dance on the next turn. Um, meanwhile, he's he's actually getting hurt by his own Sandstorm. Um, I'm staying at the same HP. He can't. He he doesn't have leftovers, of course, because he has Choice Scarf. So he he will hit me with a Surf. Um, on on the yeah. I don't. That will not be able to take out my substitute because it's not very effective and Gyarados actually has halfway decent defenses. Um, Dragon Dance, uh, I really like, uh, I, I like this Gyarados because after Dragon Dance it's faster than most Pokemon and Moxie will let me, uh, as I said before, Moxie will help me greatly in, in getting a sweep if I can knock out, if I can take out one Pokemon, Gyarados already has monstrous attack. Um, and uh, so if I can take out one Pokemon after a Dragon Dance, his attack is doubled. Um, so he uses Surf here. I I th I not sure what I was thinking. I guess I thought that Gyarados would be faster than the Latios, or at least be able. To, or I mean, because the the correct move there probably would have been Dragon Dance, because that would have allowed me to go faster and then have more um, more attack to speak of. So I could have taken out that Latios, but. Instead, now his Latios has is is faster than my Gyarados, and he has just enough HP to survive that turn and take out my Gyarados with a Surf. So there goes my sweep. Fortunately, however, this guy seems to have forgot, or this guy is hurt by his own Sandstorm, and his Latios will go down. So I took out his Latios with my Gyarados. Um, not too bad of a trade, especially considering he's got Stealth Rock, and that greatly inhibits his Gyarados. So I'm going to send in my Jolteon on his Gliscor. This is this is great, because Jolteon has Hidden Power Ice. Um, so he, he might not expect my Jolteon be, to be able to do much, since it is an electric type, but Hidden Power Ice... Uh, with Jolteon's really high special attack, Gliscor's low special defense, and a double or a double weakness to ice type moves, and a critical hit on top of all of that, his Gliscor will go down without question. So there goes possibly one of the best stallers in all of OU, and maybe the entire game.
down, uh, offed by this Jolteon. Okay, so he sends in his Alakazam, and I have Shadow Ball and this Jolteon right to the dick. Uh, so this this Alakazam is going to take it. People people think that Alakazam. A lot of people think that Alakazam has really good special defense. It's actually only eighty five. People, yeah, I, I didn't realize that until very recently that his special defense was only eighty five. I thought that this Alakazam would have a very similar situation to that Latios getting hit down to very low HP by my Pokemon taking him out and then fainting. But no, he's got Magic Guard, which allows him to stay alive. But he will not be able to survive a hit from my Choice Band Conkeldurr. With mock punch, so I will I will take out this Alakazam once and for all. Um, so yeah, let's let's see. Let's just take a let's just take a roll call at this point. Is Tyranitar, Ferrothorn, Gliscor, Latios, and Alakazam have all been downed, and I'm down to my Conkeldurr and my Terrakion. So he sends out his own Terrakion. Uh, I use Mock Punch. I'm not actually sure it will be able to take out the Terrakion. It's highly uh, likely that this Terrakion will be able to take out my Conkeldur, and I don't know what item, what item it's holding. It could be holding a Choice Scarf, but no, it has a Fighting Gem. So I actually just breathe a sigh of relief because my Terrakion is holding a Choice Scarf. And it's highly, and I, I, especially after that Fighting Gem, of course, uh, he takes out, he takes out Conkeldur. So I might have ended up in a speed tie with my Terrakion versus his Terrakion, but no, I'm 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 in good standing right now because I have a Choice Scarf, he doesn't. Close Combat actually has a hundred percent accuracy, unlike Rock Blast. Um, but yeah, this this time it's over for sure. This is the last Pokemon, hundred percent accuracy, not that much HP left, and Terrakion is a monster. So Terrakion will come out, it, it will be victorious for me. So that's the end of this battle. Uh, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.